which hotel are you or hotel, but you try the coffee there and it's bad coffee. Or you're just walking in the street and you just buy a coffee to chill out and you just find bad coffee. So you said, why is this happening? Where is the high quality Colombian coffee? This is happening because before the last 10 years, the last 100 years, there was a low restriction that just allowed the people that produce high quality coffee to sell it to the official coffee trading organization. And this organization exports everything. Sarah here. <laughs> That's my line. I know. Frank and Sarah here. We are in LAX. We are going between Terminal 6 and Terminal 7 to jump on an airplane and we are going to South America for our very first time. So this is our annual birthday trip. If you guys ever watch any of our other videos, this is it. So we're going to South America for the first time. We're heading to Colombia, Peru, and Panama. Yeah. And this time we're actually going to be a little bit shorter trip because we wanted to split it up and do one trip this month and then another trip next month. So next month you'll see something totally different. Yeah, very different. Good morning everyone. We have landed in beautiful Bogota. Colombia. Look how lush and green it is out here. <laughs> Just kidding, we're still in the airport. We're still in the airport. <laughs> yeah. So we, it's, a, it's like 5.47 a.m. right now. I think we're like the first um, flight to get in, it was, the airport was completely dead, but now it's starting to get a little bit busier and the sun's rising, well no, it's getting brighter out and um, yeah, we haven't really gotten out yet because we're trying to figure out how to get to our hostel and see what's open and all that, so the weather's um, a little chilly even though we haven't gone out yet, but you can feel the air coming through the, the door, so it's, it's going to be a little bit chilly, probably 50s. <laughs> Weather report, right there. <laughs> yeah, so we're, uh, we're gonna go to hostel, drop our bags off, and then um, talk to hostel and see what to do from there. Yeah, we had a red light flight from Houston. It was like five hours. So we end up with the seat, that's the road that's right in front of um, the emergency exit. So we can lean back. And I usually don't lean back anyways, but these seats were like literally like upright. <laughs> I was like so uncomfortable. I napped a little bit. I barely slept. We need sleep though, right? Yeah. Let's do this. Sleep when we're not on vacation. Yeah. Let's go explore uh Bogota. Go. Nice and refreshed because we got to take a nap at the hostel. So we checked in, we got to the hostel, we dropped our stuff off, took a nap, and now we are almost ready to go to a walking tour. Yeah. Well, we stopped at this cafe, it's really cute, it's called Casa Galleria. It's just super cute, and they have like coffee and cake and pastries and stuff. So we order a couple of pastries and and a couple of coffees to go because we're gonna get to the walking tour like soon. Yep. Oh, yeah. The sun's peeking out, which is kind of nice. But it's still a bit chilly, so hopefully it gets a little bit warmer later. Yeah, and we'll take you guys along with us on the walking tour. Yeah, we're excited. Look at that. Yeah, so far this town is really pretty, and the house we're staying at is like really social. They have a lot of events, mm -hmm. so looking forward to this uh, this day. Yes, to be fun. 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. You, we give you bike and help me. You don't need to rent it, and we go outside of the historical center. We go to the mall. <laughs>
arepa. It's made with like corn and cheese and butter. It's a traditional Colombian dish. 51 cents or 1600 Colombian pesos. <laughs> Warm and crunchy and cheesy and buttery. It's good stuff. Ecuador, Bolivia, Peru, even until the northern part of Chile or northern part of Argentina. Yeah, for me, cause I'm back in to where I used to be. 